Hello and welcome to my new video. If you're new here, hi, I'm Lex, and as you can see by this island flag, today we are on the island of Fifi. This island is created by Katie ACNH on Instagram, one of the OGs on Animal Crossing Instagram, might I add, one of my very first ever Animal Crossing friends. And this island, you're not ready for it. It is maximalist, it is beautiful pinks and reds everywhere. It is a strawberry themed island. Let me see what these gifts are really quick. Shut up. We have a strawberry hat <laughs> and rain boots. I am obsessed. I am obsessed. This is so funny. Look at me. Anyway, literally just the walk from resident services. I'm already enchanted by this island. I hope you're going to love it too. Let's take a look at the map really quick. Of course, all of the villagers are pink or red. I think this is adorable. I have not been so immediately enamored with an island in so long. So here we have marina, apple, ketchup, peaches, meringue, puddles, norma, gale, freckles, and chelsea all cuties there is the dream address if you'd like to visit and tour along with me today is the day katie's releasing her dream address to the world i'm so honored that she's decided to release it along with my video this tour i've been so pumped about it for so long like months i've been so excited to visit fifi also quick disclaimer here i am struggling <laughs> with a cold or something so if my voice sounds a little different i'm sorry about that i'll hopefully be back to my regular programming soon but just, let's just appreciate even this entrance, the terraforming, all of the flowers, the items. I think this is adorable. Let me run through. So resident services is actually very close to the airport, right on the, I mean, you can see the building from here, right on the other side of these cliffs. But I think Katie has done something really clever here by including this terraforming. So you have a bit of a walk to get to resident services. So here it is through here look at this the plant on top of the mushroom platform i'm obsessed i love the use of the mario mushroom items i think that's so cute it's so cool to see them actually being used on an island i feel like i very rarely do even though we were like pretty pumped as a community when the mario collaboration was announced all of the natural terraforming all of the just vivid color here is amazing look at this mushroom design I will put the custom designs in the description, by the way, so you can check that out and check out Katie's page in the video description. I don't even know what way to go. I'm so like, wow. All of the villager homes are also decorated. So when we see a villager home, we will check out their homes. This is Meringue's house. Look at this. The decor is so cute. I also love how Katie's used the island flag on designs on the island. So this little pillow is the island flag design. It's so cute. I feel like I never see that. I also have never done it myself. This mushroom on the stump design is so precious. Oh, I've got this adorable shirt. I could actually see Meringue wearing that too, which is so funny. This is just so precious. Look at this. It's like little fairies live here. I will say Katie's Island Opal Shore, which was her older island, was like a forerunner in the fairy core community. So Katie is a fairy core veteran as well. I feel like you do see some elements of that here in her just expertise. Look at this, we've got a strawberry cafe. How adorable, all of the strawberry items. I feel like I don't realize how many actual strawberry items there are until someone uses them like this. I mean, look at the strawberry milk. <laughs> I'm obsessed. This is actually my island now. I think I just want to live here. And then back here, I'm like so scared I'm going to miss something, even though Katie gave me a map to go by. I'm like, wow, there's so much going on. It's beautiful. All down this incline, I think we've got Nook's Cranny here. Yeah, look, and we've got like a pink vending machine. I'm obsessed. I am obsessed. Apple, if you could just excuse us. I do want to check out Nook's Cranny. This is so pretty. Look at this little tulip garden with the surprise thing too. This is, oh my goodness. The little pink elephant watering cans are so precious too. I almost said flowering can. Same thing, same thing. The pink and red shopping baskets. Are you kidding? <laughs> Katie, I am so giddy just walking through here. What an honor it is to see this island just fully fleshed out. Look at all of this it's so cute i uh, the mixture of custom designs going on is phenomenal they all look amazing together 
We've even got a little pathway on this mountain up here. Cute. I have no idea where we are right now. We're just like vibing. Oh, this is the entrance. So yeah, if you keep going, when you go down this path from the airport, that leads you straight to the shop. That's very clever. I think that's very helpful. We will go ahead and take this incline that I never did get to see. Look at this little cherry pie. Oh, I love it here. And there's a little bench overlooking a sunken waterfall. I love tiny sunken waterfalls like this. Like, wow, that is so, so much effort and terraforming to put in here. And it looks amazing. We can hop across here to a little apple cafe, perhaps? No, this is the resident house. Look at this. Oh my goodness. And the like red wind flowers, I think it is, have been run through. These are pansies, I believe, here. But the flowers being run through to make it look like little cherries or strawberries is so precious. And then these are the wind flowers. This is so cool. The attention to detail is incredible. Here's Katie, whose name is Sophie on this island. I believe Katie said this is her sister's island. So she had to work around like the terraforming that was available here in order to make the island. I love this resident representative's outfit, by the way. The use of the green buns is so smart. It, she looks like a little strawberry. We are literally a little strawberry. This is so precious. Let's go check out the house. Oh my goodness. I told you this island was maximalist. This is so vibrant. I love it here. I also feel like I'm seeing so many items in use that I never use myself. And I love that. I love to see that. I love to see items being used here that I would not have thought to use myself. I feel like it's just really cool and creative. Ooh, and we've got this very calming bathroom. It's like so romantic feeling. I don't know if I'm just saying that because there's like the chocolate heart and stuff, but this is very romantic. It has like mood lighting, the red chandelier. This is adorable. It's not just a bathroom. This is a spa. This is luxury. You're living in luxury here. And here we've got like a little informal den. It looks like a lot of stuff going on. It's like a plant room. Yeah, look at this, the greenhouse, all the plants on display. I bet this little magazine rack is full of like little gardening magazines. That's cute. That is cute. Just so many plants and they definitely go with the island theme, the way it is so richly centered around the lushness, all of the flowers, the strawberries. Oh, and we've got a little kitchen. It could be its own little bakery. Look at this. And we've got music playing from the cherry speakers. That's adorable. All of the on-theme food is incredible. This red toaster. Are you kidding with the little flowers? I'm obsessed. And we've even got some polishing going on here. Look at the sparkly cake. I don't even recognize this cake. I think it must be one of like mom's homemade cakes. But look, it has, it has a little dog. Oh my goodness. I want to live here. I want to live here. And then upstairs, we've got this little room. I'm not sure what the theme is. It might be a kid's room, just based on what's here. All the teddy bears and stuff. Very cute. And then like this little bed with a desk. Or it could be just the resident representative's home. We could be a kid on this island. Look at the froggy chair. How freaking adorable. And this strawberry like patch quilt design on the sofa. I'm, oh my goodness. Ooh, and then look at this. It's almost like a walk-in closet kind of vibe. Are you seeing it? Are you seeing the walk-in closet aesthetic here? In my head canon, I don't know if this was the intention, but these bags are actually just bags of clothes that are ready to donate. We've got to take them. We've got to take them to the thrift shop. This is so cool though. And I don't know, like the balls of yarn and everything are implying that the creator here, I mean, the resident rep is either, you know, making her own clothes or she's like crocheting blankets and stuff, which is so precious. We've got laundry. I mean, look at, look at this, look at this little sewing corner. Plot twist, Sable comes and hangs out here. This is adorable. Anyway, what an amazing, what an amazing home. I have been permanently changed by this. Look, we can hop across here. I think, yeah, this is the little pathway on the cliff that we saw earlier. 
I also must say I love the shell designs that have been incorporated here. We have a shell arch. We can see the shell fountain here on the cliff. They're so pretty in their pink versions, which again is something I never see. And here is the apple cafe I mentioned earlier when I was a little lost. This is what I meant. This is freaking precious. Look at this. We've got a little apple pie with the apple chairs. <laughs> Oh, I think this is the cutest island I've ever seen in my entire life. This is just to the right of Nook's Cranny. So this is where basically I got distracted earlier. That's one thing about me on these islands. I will get distracted. Let's go ahead and head down, I suppose, to this beautiful double bridge area. Let me, let me open the camera here. Look how aesthetically pleasing this is. All of the shop signs too here are so cool. I never would have thought to put them in this arrangement, but this is so perfect. It looks so cool. I'm not even sure which way to like go first. I guess let's go to the right since that's the side of the island that I have been touring so far. Here is, I think, Puddle's home. And she is home. Let's go check it out. Look at her. She has such a happy home. Of course, the pink frog villager gets a pink froggy chair. Of course. I think this wall is so cute too. I don't think I've ever seen this wall in use in a house. This island is so many firsts for me, despite the fact that I've been playing Animal Crossing like almost daily for three years. I'm seeing so many items in use that I've never seen on an island before. This is just precious. And I know this island feels endless, but this is the very back of the island. Look at this decor on the rock. How precious, the little, the little Karopi frog. And we've got tomatoes, which actually fits in because tomatoes are a fruit. All of these red flowers, we've got cherry stuff on this table that's so precious. Look at this, there's a lawnmower back here. I love that custom design, by the way. And then over here is Norma's house. I don't even know how to get over here, actually. I'm silly goosing, you literally just go on the other side of the pond me when I try to take the back way to everything. Here we go, here we go. So this is Norma's home, she is not home, so we can't see her house, unfortunately, but she has her own little flower field with bees, with bees, bees everywhere. And then look at this, there's like a little cafe over here, a little beach rock cafe. How precious, the cookies on the table, are you kidding? And then this beach rock up here is also just beautifully decorated with a gazebo. How stunning. And you can come out here and look at the faraway islands. I wanna know what's over there. Is that just other players' islands? I don't know. I feel like I didn't realize how many pink and red items were in the game until I came here. I mean, you wouldn't, I guess, until you started really looking into it. Oh, and here's the campsites. We've got a little fishing area for the campsite, which is super fitting. You know, you're going camping. You wanna be able to fish too. There's a little picnic on the beach. How restful. I think it's a great idea when people put the campsite either on or very close to the beach because it just makes sense. Like if you're camping on an island, you probably do want that beach view, that ocean view. Not always, you know, like if it's a foresty island, you want to camp in the woods too. But I think this is so smart, so well set up. All of these like very rustic natural items that still follow the pink and red theme is so cute. And look at that arch in the back. There's a little farm back here, a little garden, a little vegetable garden, and the Cosmo showers. I love it here. Have I said that? Have I mentioned how much I adore this island? Because it's one of my favorites ever in the world. I mean, it doesn't matter where you stop on the island. It's a beautiful frame. Like, look at this. This is literally where I stopped when I said that. Every spot that you could stand on this island is a perfect Instagram photo. And let's see here, down here. Oh, there's more camping. So you've got the actual campsite up there. And then you come down here with little kids tents. <laughs> I'm obsessed. And on the beach too, there's places to hang out. A little picnic going on down here. A bonfire even. Look at this pink and white ukulele. Yeah, this is adorable. Oh my gosh, I just realized you could go further down on the beach from that. We've got like a little beach bath. You can just chill, you can just hang out out here. It's like spa all over again. And then down here, Katie is just labeled as flower storage, but it's so pleasant to walk through anyway. Like, what the heck? Look at this. It's like you can buy your own little seeds to plant. This is adorable. I also appreciate the fact that these two are like not fully grown. I don't know. I think that's cute. I'm heading back up the campsite here, but just the amount of thought and effort that went into every part of this island. This is not an island that was rushed. Like, this island 
it has taken months and months of work to create this and I just really respect that. I think it's beautiful. Here we have a little apple orchard. How cute. This custom design of like the pink wood planks is awesome. I think that's so beautiful. I also love that there's a little step ladder. You can actually go apple picking here. It's so cute. It's very nice for this time of year too. I also appreciate that this tree was cut down when it was small. So we've got like a baby tree stump here. Oh my gosh. Now we're going back across the bridges here. Oh, there's Norma walking around. She's hanging out near Able Sisters. So here is the Able Sisters shop. Very cute setup, very beautiful display of custom designs. All of these designs are precious. Let's go and check out over here. Look at this, a little mini garden again with the Cosmo showers. The Cosmo showers really, they're like a key item for this island for me, I think. They're so beautiful. And then, oh, we've got a mini ice cream parlor on the secret beach. Everything about this is perfect. And the shell speaker is playing a beautiful song. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's gorgeous. Oh, and we've got like a mini playground. Look at this. Hi, yeah. I don't even know what to say. This is so stunning. Imagine it at night too with little items like this that are illuminated, this like vine balloon. Very precious. Or glowing moss balloon. Oh, and here's the museum just to the left. I don't know. We're, we're going to have to walk back through there so I don't miss anything. But this is beautiful. I always struggle with like wide open spaces that don't have a lot of terraforming. But look at this. This whole like little area. It's like a meadow, I guess, leading up to the museum. This pathway is so well done, by the way. The fact that it creates a little circle for flowers. This is adorable. Yeah, literally on the map, this is labeled as a meadow. So I was picking up on those vibes before I even read that. So stunning. I feel like that's very underrated. Just filling areas with an amalgamation of flowers that you use on the island can turn out just so, so amazing. And then we've also got a lot of terraforming here again. Just beautiful waterfalls. There's freckles walking around. Hi, queen. She just asked me if I was even real. You know, I don't know. I don't know, freckles. We've got a little forest sign here. Oh, it's like little fairy doors, or maybe this is how you get to Wonderland. Like Alice in Wonderland. Look, there's a there's a rabbit. He could be the Hatter. I mean, not the the Hatter. Me when the Hatter is a rabbit. Also, just to the left of the museum is the stunning little fountain area, and there's a little coin there. So it's like a wishing fountain, a wishing well, even. Even to the side here where you might not even go if you were visiting, there's a beautiful waterfall set up. Like I said, you can tell when you walk through this island just how much work went into it. I think it is like one of the closest things to perfection that you can achieve in Animal Crossing, you know? And up this hill, we've got some string lights. Very pretty. Oh, look at the like mountain standee in the cherry blossom. That's gorgeous. And oh, it's like a little land bridge walking through here. It's mushroom themed. There is so much going on. Let me pull out the camera here. We are truly thriving. Look at this. Beautiful terraforming, beautiful plant life, beautiful furniture items. What else could you say? I mean, are you kidding? Is this the prettiest island ever? Yeah, I can't even like fathom this island, truly. And look at this view too. We're like overlooking this bridge beside a villager home. It's gorgeous. Oh, we've made it back to resident services. So if you come down from resident services, you go right up onto this cliff, which is so cute, by the way, just a place to eat and hang out. And then down here is, I believe, Marina's home. Yes, so this is Marina's house and then her beach. She's got her own little private beach, a very large one too, because it stretches all the way to the airport over here. So this is gorgeous. Love that it's mostly pink themed. We do have some reds too, but Marina herself is pink. So that makes sense. Look at this, the strawberry designs. Also, I don't know why it's scratching my brain so perfectly that even though you couldn't make the full circle here, Katie, you went ahead and did the three parts of the circle for this mush circle. That is just so good. We are not blessed enough to have Marina visiting here today, but that's okay. Ooh, another little beach. This is a peach themed beach. Are you kidding me? I'm going to cry about this island. A little peaches sign. That's so adorable. Even on the cliff, we've got peach related items. A little peach stall up there. 
I wonder if Peach is the villager. Yes. No, is this, who is this? This is Apple's house. And then Peaches is up on the cliff by the peach stall. So Apple here does have some little apples dropped. She does have apple juice in a carton. That is precious. And here is the island pier open so that you can get to Cap'n, of course. Let's go up and see Peach's house. Yeah, so this is Peach's surrounded by all of the peach items. And luckily she is home. I was really curious about her interior. So that's really cool. But yeah, you can go over here and check out all the peach stuff that I mentioned before. Also, a sneak peek at this house back here that is absolutely adorable. Let's head into Peach's home. Literally shut up. This is so cute. This is so cute. Little peach jelly, all the peach items in here. Oh my goodness. And the pinks go so well together. There are different shades of pink in use here and they all blend so beautifully. All right, we're gonna head down onto the beach, see if we can't find how to get to that other house we saw up there. Here's a little like strawberry beach gathering. Are you kidding? This item is like the new music box item. I say new as in with the 2.0 update, but the little strawberry custom designs on it. Oh goodness. I don't even know what to say. We've also got the peninsula here, which is a little cinema, a little outdoor cinema. You can come and hang out. There's a teddy bear you can lean against. Also the fact that there are earth eggs here. Are you kidding? <laughs> Imagine using the bunny day items ever. Could not be me. Okay, yeah, here's the house and it's a little tomato farm. Of course, this is Ketchup's house. Of course she has her own themed farm. A little tomato farm. Are you joking? Are you joking? And it's so beautiful, this pathway. Oh my gosh, I could have gotten to it from this beach and I didn't even notice. So yeah, here is Ketchup's home and she is also, thankfully, in house. So let's go check her out. <gasps> Look at her. Her house is so cute. Why does her house feel bigger than most of the villagers? I don't know. It's like the space is so smartly used. Her house feels enormous compared to the other villagers. This is adorable, adorable. And then the other house over here belongs to Freckles who is not home. This is beautiful. Another little pink and red themed area for her. Look at this, the little froggy chairs with the lily pad table. How freaking cute. And we've got like a little plushy picnic. Look at it with the scrapbook too. They are chilling. They are hanging out. And then over here, we've just got cute little beach decor. This is a little tulip field, a little cafe on the rocks. And then, ooh, some more shell furniture. This shell arch is just so pretty, so underrated. Then we've got a little pool on the beach. Look at the duck, look at the duck. And then, yeah, you can come up here and buy stuff. Cute. It's like a mini carnival on this beach rock. You can come up here, buy some cotton candy, some popcorn, just hang out. Or not even like, I don't know why I said carnival, like a little boardwalk is what I meant. All right, back up here, right beside Freckles house, you can go up this cliff. Also, just a second to appreciate the terraforming here. This like double incline situation is so pretty. Back here is a little plant market, which is so cute. You can buy some of the plants that are grown on the island. If you want to take a little bit of this island's botanical aspects home with you, a little, a little souvenir of the island, if you will. These hyacinths are so pretty. Look at them. And then this is Chelsea's house. Oh, look at her. She has her fitting little items, the My Melody stuff. I think that's precious. So cute, and I love this wall. I don't know how I've like never noticed this wall before. I don't think this is custom designs. I think this is actually a wall in the game. It's so pretty. I think it was in the bathroom that we saw earlier. And then we can continue back here. We're very close to the back of the island here, by the way. Here is Gail's house. She's also home. Look at her. She's got a little gyroid friend in her yard. What a cutie. The colors here are just so comforting. I don't know. I feel like this is a good comfort island to have if you just wanna walk through and feel at peace. Oh, and Gail's home is so cute too. She is so precious. I mean, look at her. And we've got this absolutely stunning room for her. 
It's like a very gentle pink theme. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It's just so precious. Also appreciating the fact that there's a telescope back here. Like I said, we're at the back of the islands. You have like pristine views of the night sky. This would be like the best place to wish on stars. Look at this. Imagine. All right, I'm just heading through here. I think we only have one more home to see and it was the one by resident services because you're not gonna believe this. I got distracted and didn't visit Meringue's house, even though I mentioned it being right beside resident services. Also, I just noticed these little shoes here, these little Mary Janes, how adorable. As I'm walking through, it's just like reinforcing my earlier assertion that no matter where you stop on the island, it could be an Instagram photo. Everything here is beautiful. Also really love this lighthouse. I love that it's right beside the airport. It's like, instead of calling in boats, you're calling in the plane. You're like, yeah, land here, land here. But yeah, so just to the left of resident services, I literally walked over here, I think earlier, because I'm pretty sure I remember looking at these rain boots. But if you cross this bridge, you go over to Meringue's house. Oh wait, no, I did see this. Okay, okay, I'm just being silly. See, so yeah, wait a second, that means I think we've seen everything? Shut up. Another little moment here to appreciate the terraforming because what the heck? Like, there's a whole sunken waterfall behind this house. There's also a little, like, dollhouse on top up there, so it's like a little fairy is living the absolute luxury life back there. Alas, I wish this island just went on forever and I could just keep discovering little strawberry, apple, cherry, tomato areas, but we are here at the end. This is where I leave you, Katie. Thank you so much for allowing me to tour this island to show it to the world. This is stunning work. Like I said, you can tell every step of the way how much love and thought went into every part of this island. I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did. It was honestly life-changing. Um, thank you all for being here today and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.